today's video we're going to look at how to do the alteration for a hollow chest. I'm Izzy at Minerva and I'm going to be talking you through step by step how to make this change. The next fit we're going to look at is something called the hollow chest fit. So this is where um, this area here is a bit more hollow than the way that we have designed the block to be. So you'll notice this fit issue if you've got excess pooling all the way across here. Um, we're going to fix that today using a few different methods. So let's get straight into it. So all we're going to do is to grab a pin and effectively just pin out however much volume you need to pin out. So grab your pin and just kind of pop it to take out the volume. Obviously, um, the, the effect will be a bit more obvious for yours if it's not quite fitting by right? just showing you the technique here. So you may want to just take a look at that. What you may also find is up at the top of the shoulders, the neckline is just um, gapping a little bit up there. It might be helpful just to pop a pin in up there as well so that you're taking out the volume to get an, an overall smooth effect. Okay, with the hollow chest alteration, we are effectively going to lower the neckline and we're also going to lower the shoulder line as well at this point. Now we do have this big dart here, which is going to affect um, the shoulder line. So what we want to do first of all is to grab a piece of tracing paper, pop that over your block, and we're just gonna trace over the block so that we've got it nice and accurate, and then we're going to close up that dart before we make any other changes. So let's do that together now. You don't need to draw in all of the block because obviously you've got it here. Sometimes it's quite helpful just to draw in the key points like the neckline. Let's draw in that dart. Just trace over that nice and accurately. The next thing I want to do is I want to close up that dart and move it onto the side seam just for now so that we can manipulate um, the shoulder a little bit further. So just draw a line from the apex to about halfway along the side seam. It doesn't have to be a specific point along the side seam, we just want it about halfway along. Next I want you to cut along that line to the apex, making sure you leave a small pivot point. And likewise, cut down the centre of the bust dart up at the top. At this point, I'm basically just going to close up that dart by pivoting the dart at that point so that the shoulder seam is now aligned with the front neck point at this point up here. Pop a piece of masking tape and just pop that in place to hold it in place. Now you can see the impact of that change is that everything's kind of closed up here, but down here it's started to open up, hasn't it? So you can see we've now removed the volume from there but added it into there. What that means is we can now make a whole load of alterations to our neck point as we need to without affecting the dart. We can then put the dart back in at the end, okay? Now, when you made the changes to your toile when it was on you, hopefully you will have pinned out um, approximately the amount of volume you need to remove from the hollow chest area to, in order for the garment to sit nice and flat. So for here, we just got one pin there and one pin up on the shoulder seam. You may have a couple more, but what we want to know is what that distance is, how much volume you've actually removed from um, your chest area. So grab your tape measure and just measure off that distance that you've removed, whatever that is. For me, it's 1.2. Multiply that by two, and that's the amount that we're going to um, alter our front bodice by. So for me, if the distance I've pinched out is 1.2 times it by two, 2.4, so I need to take out 2.4 centimeters of volume across the front of the chest. So we'll deal with that first. I'm going to reduce the front neckline simply by 2.4 centimeters. So grab your ruler, pop it over the center front line and mark a point that is 2.4 centimeters or whatever it is that you need for your body. We're also going to lower the front neck point by the same amount. So running a point perpendicular from the top line up here of your block, just mark that off at 2.4. Okay. And now I want you just to draw in your new neck curve. And I'd actually recommend doing this in a slightly different color probably, just because it's gonna start to get really confusing otherwise. <laughs> and lots of different lines going on. Great, so we've got our new neck curve at this point here. Then grab your ruler and join up your shoulder 
to this point here. Now we want the line to be the same width as before, the same length as before, so just measure that off. For me it's about 12.5 and just check, it should be, for me it's exactly the same, it should be the same. You may just need to send it out just a little bit further, probably not, so that it joins in nicely with that arm side at that point. Great. So now that we've done that and we've closed up our dart and then we've drawn in our new shoulder and neck seam, what we now want to do is open up the pattern piece again so that we can then bring back our nice um, bust dart at the front. So we'll do that together now. What I would recommend you do to this piece of tracing paper now is actually cut out your new neckline, otherwise it's gonna get very confusing. And then once you've cut it out, just take off your masking tape it's holding that dart together and then we're just going to close up this dart down here so close that back up again so that our shoulder uh, sits right back along the shoulder at that point there then you can just secure that back in place down there perfect and now we know that the length of that dart and over here is going to be exactly the same all we've done is just drop the neckline and the shoulder line at that point great so now that you've made the adjustments that you need to grab a pen and just transfer those line markings onto your block using a coloured pen so that you can see that this is your first trial alterations and that's all it is. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you found that fits alteration helpful. As ever, don't forget we've got loads of little bite-sized videos on lots of different alteration and fit techniques. So do check those all out as you continue to adapt and refine your body block. Thanks for joining me today. I will see you next time. Thank you.